What's up, folks? I'm going to give you a chance to get in so we can get motivated. So, as soon as I see y'all pop in, I'm going to holler at y'all. Wait for y'all to drop on in. Mm -hmm. Okay, I see one up in the house. Okay. Y'all make sure y'all can see me versus to hear me. I want you to hear me and see me, but make sure you can see me. You see a clear picture because sometimes Periscope do that thing where you can't see the person, but you can hear them. So uh, for that one person that's in, if you can see me good, tap the screen or say yeah or something so I know that I can, uh, that you can see me. Okay, I guess they pop back out. Okay. All right. Waiting for people to get in. Hey, cheek baby. <laughs> hey. So if you if you can see me clearly, make sure. Okay. Good morning. Good morning to you too as well. Yeah, so it's a Friday over here. It's, just, it's going down. Okay, so we got a few people in. So I just want to do like a quick scope. Okay, I see um, Dip. Okay, I see you not. I see you, but not clearly all the time. Okay, do you see me clearly now? Because Periscope has this thing. Um, okay, cool. Sometimes when people come in, they do the, Hey, Asbel, what's up, girl? They do this thing, and you can hear the person, but you can't see them, okay? So, um, and, and what happens is people will say, is it your phone? <laughs> hey, lady, how you doing? You know, and they say, is, it, is, is there something wrong with your phone? Or, and it really don't be anything wrong with anybody's phone, or whether you have an iPhone or Android, great. Oh, I'm doing real good, girl. I'm doing good. Just trying to get things together. Um... I want to do a quick scope this morning, and we're going to do some things. It's just making adjustments. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, it is. Uh, so I try to get in a place where I know I got some type of um, connection that's sort of clear. Because I know Periscope, you can be in the clearest connection ever, and Periscope will be like blur on you for real. So as long as you all can see it, I'm good. Thank you for the hearts. Y'all tap the screen, giving me as many hearts if you like. I usually don't ask for them because I, I usually want people to be able to give the hearts if they want to without me having to actually ask for them. But what I do ask is that you all share the broadcast. So if you're on an Android, swipe up and share it with your Periscope people and your Twitter people. If you're on uh, iPhone, swipe left, right, and share it with your Twitter and Periscope people that way as well. And um, hopefully, folks, people that um, come back and do the replay, we hope that you throw some hearts in there too at that time. <laughs> but anyway, let me do a quick scope on just some motivation, folks, because we need motivation in our lives. And I, I don't think people know how important it is to have motivation. And, um, yes, it's around about this lunchtime for certain, you know, for some people and stuff. Um, but today, my lunch is going to be a little bit later because I want to come on and do, you know, some type of motivation. One, <laughs> yes, it's very important. One, I want you all get used to me coming on here, folks. I'm going to be talking about you getting your water in, okay? Now, um, if anybody was listening to my scope yesterday, I, do, I normally drink about four to five of these a day. So today, this is actually my second one today. And then I'll probably be doing a third one in about another two hours. So this is my second one. And this is about um, 23.7 ounces of water. Okay, so it is important, folks, that you get your water in. It's important that you check out your health. Everybody's not on the same wavelength. So when you see these commercials coming out about um, insanity and um, all these different types of workout, Zuma, everything, you have to find something that's going to work for you. 
okay? It, it doesn't necessarily mean that you have to buy a video off the TV, okay, or do insanity. You need to find out what works for you. And first thing is first, if you have a physician, go to the doctor and get a full checkout. Get a full checkout. That means blood work, everything from, from head to toe to find out if you have anything wrong with you. And then speak with your doctor on what the results are and make your decisions then. And, and you know, try to make some kind of plan for you to work out and what type of food you need to be eating. Mm -hmm. But most of all, regardless of whatever it is, you're going to need water in your system. Okay, so you gotta you gotta drink this water, folks. You gotta drink this water. And like I say, I ain't talking about this. This is not what I'm talking about. You get some water and you do this. And set it to the side and say, I got my water for that ain't what I'm talking about. I'm talking about actually drinking all of this water. So get your water in. It is too important that you need to get your water in. Now, what I am gonna tell people is this: I'm not gonna ever tell people that you should go on a diet that word diet just means at the very beginning of it die dead i think you need to do what's right for your body yes you need lots of fruits and vegetables in your system that helps and again this water okay this water you need this water so i'm going to tell you all go to the doctor Yes, it is a lifestyle change. Yes, it most definitely it is a lifestyle change. And if you want to feel good about yourself, you want to feel good physically, mentally, then you need to change your lifestyle on how you eat. No one said you had to quit eating your favorite desserts. No one said you had to quit eating your favorite food. I hear people, they say, oh, well, you know what? Um, I'm a vegan. I don't eat meat no more. And guess what? I'm fine with that. If that's what you do, do you, and it works for you. Guess what? Miss Cassie like meat. Now, I don't eat a lot of red meat. That's right, in moderation. I don't do a lot of red meat. My meats are grilled pink salmon, um, tilapia, um, and chicken. You know, I do turkey every blue moon. I don't do a lot of turkey. Not a turkey person. I do turkey during Thanksgiving. But, um, you know, there are times that I will. Now, don't get me wrong. Do I eat tacos? Yes. I may do um, ground tacos. I, I do use ground taco. I mean, ground turkey. And uh, so there's different types of things you can use. But don't ever get it where you say, oh, I don't drink, I don't eat meat, and I don't eat that. You got to have some meat. And let me explain something to you folks. People don't understand. Like I said, there's nothing wrong with going vegan. But if you go vegan, you need to find out everything there is about vegan. You need to know what your proteins are. You need to know what your carbohydrates are. You need to know what the sodium um, intake is on going vegan. It is very important that you learn that. Please tell them and they lose out on needed nutrients. The key is eat whatever is smaller and smaller. Exactly. Yes. Because you're going to miss out on some things. People say, well, I don't do dairy. Well, let me explain something to you. Dairy helps take care of your bones. And when you hit your 40s, ladies, when you hit your 40s, you need to have some kind of milk in your system. Now, if you decide to go soy, that's on you. Um, I, I, I would speak with my physician about that. Um, I do do like um, almond milk, coconut milk, something like that. I do. But everything is done in, in moderation. Okay? Everything is done in moderation. So you don't have to feel like, oh. Now with me, like when I said I like meat, if I get a hot dog, I don't want no fillers. Sorry, I, I just don't have time for fillers. Uh, if you're a hot dog, be a hot dog. I don't want a hot dog stuffed with chicken meat, okay, or turkey meat. Okay, I, I don't want that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Those bones become brittle with age and calcium is important. Yes, it do. Because when a woman, um, when she gets starts getting older, her bones start getting, the density of her bone gets thin. So it's very easy for you to be walking somewhere, and all of a sudden, your bone crack or you get a crack in your bone. That's not a good thing. And you can't, it's hard to heal. You're not going to heal like you did when you was younger. So 
people, sit down, take care of your health, okay? Seriously, take care of your health. Um, we all are not perfect. I'm not perfect. There's just no way in this world that I'm perfect. Um, yes, I do work out with a trainer, but I have, there are days that I just be like, oh, I'm done. You know what I'm saying? But you do have to work out. And I think um, it is a way of life. But here's the key, too. When you get ready to lose that weight or you get ready to really start thinking healthy and working out and all that kind of stuff, you're not going to do it until you're really ready to do it. I can sit here and talk to you all day about the benefits of working out and being healthy and, and, and drinking water and doing all this other stuff. I can tell you that all day long. But until you are sick and tired of being the way you are and that you are ready mentally, then you're not going to do it until you're ready. Here's my thing. I just hope you don't wait until it's too late to try to do something about it. And then you can't reverse the cycle. You can't turn you can't turn your health around because you waited too late. Now you did because you suffered a heart attack or you suffered a stroke. Or you didn't um, bother to pay attention to go to the doctor when something was wrong with you. Your body sets off mechanisms in your body. It tells you, okay, something's wrong with you. You know, if you're having too many headaches, that could be something dealing with your high blood pressure. Some people don't know they got high blood pressure. But if you keep getting headaches, they're not always migraines. If it hurts here and here. Not necessarily here, here, but if it hurts here and back here, most of the time, that's your pressure messing with you. And the air, and dehydration. That's your pressure messing with you. And you know how I know? I know because I have high blood pressure. But you need to get it treated. You need to be treated for it. There are different levels of high blood pressure. So you need to be treated for it. Get your weight down. Okay? Get your weight down. Get people who are stressing the hell out of you. Get them, get, get them away from you. Get them away from you. Stress will kill you. Matter of fact, stress is the number one killer. You got, you got the heartache. You got the heart attacks. You got the blood pressure. You got cancer. You got all this other stuff. But stress is the number one. I'm going to tell you why. You can have cancer and you could be going through chemo, but if stress is added on, then guess what? Stress helps progress that cancer. If you have high blood pressure and you're dealing with stress, that stress helps progress that high blood pressure to the point that you can have a stroke, you can have an aneurysm, you can have a heart attack. And when they say that blood pressure is the silent killer, it is. You can drop dead at any given point in time. So, folks, I'm telling you now, get it together. I love someone who knows what they're talking about. And you, Miss Cassie, know what you... Yeah, you know what? Let me tell you something. I, um, 9-11. I'm going to tell you all a quick story. 9-11. I never, ever dealt with um, high blood pressure. Ever. Uh, my mom... I remember her having high blood pressure, and she always say her nerves were bad. So I don't know if they were nerve pills or if that was just her pressure. I don't know. But in twenty, but when um, nine eleven popped up, I lost a lot of family members. I also lost a lot of friends. So um, in the midst of dealing with that and having the family members and we couldn't find people, it was just so much going on at that time. And then I had some other um, issues that I was dealing with um, personally that I had to deal with as well. Um, and I couldn't figure out why I kept getting headaches. And I was getting like what I would, would, would call migraine headaches. So... Um, like any normal person, you would take like some Tylenol or some Motrin. Well, my headaches were so bad that taking the Tylenol wasn't doing it. It wasn't doing nothing. So I went to the store and got some the um, Excedrin migraine, that extra strength stuff. And I would pop, literally pop 
four to five of those a day. And then all of a sudden, I decided, you know what, let me go to the doctor because something's just not quite right with me. So I went to the doctor and they ran my blood pressure. And I normally would go to the doctor once a year. Get my physical, I'm good. I'm straight. Always been good. But this time, well, that that was a whole brand new ball game. That that was ball brand new ball game, an eye opener. Um, that's my first time I was diagnosed with high blood pressure. Yes, it was sky high. Matter of fact, when I walked in his office and he checked my blood pressure, my blood pressure at the time was 154 over 102. So when I walked in his office, I was at stroke level. I could probably could have died before I even got there and didn't even realize it. And he said, um, and I told him, I said, well, I've been taking um, Excedrin, you know, distance. And he said, what? He said, baby girl, you can't be taking that. So um, he actually took the Excedrin pills from me and put them in the trash can. I had like a big bottle of <laughs> He took them and put them in the trash can. He said, what the hell is going on in your life that is causing your pressure to be up like that? And at the time, I was uh, dealing with my ex-husband, who is now my ex-husband now, dealing with him. Um, carrying me through changes, issues, and, and he's just not doing what he's supposed to do. And dealing with 9-11, losing family members and friends. It was just so much going on all at one time. Um, trying to keep my entertainment life together, which I was doing fine on that end because I had plenty of gigs and stuff, but I'm doing that and then dealing with the home life. It was just so much. So I was, it was the stress. The stress was beating my ass. And, um, I'm, I'm a girl from down South. I didn't, when I eat vegetables, I can tell you right now, there were no canned vegetables in my house because my mother can everything from snap peas to crowded peas, string beans. So we didn't do no can nothing. We didn't have no canned goods in the house. Uh, not like that. I think the only can we might have had in the house might have been spam. Okay. Something like spam or, or um sometimes she would even buy jelly. But my mom, she um she made jelly. She made jam. She, you know, up from down south. She made all that stuff. So I ate everything out the garden fresh. Then I get on my own. Of course, we go into the store and buy some stuff. It's going to be in cans. Well, the stuff in the cans got a lot of sodium in, in it. And so um, at that time, yes, <laughs> it is a silent killer. And at that time, my mom actually, you know, she was like, okay, so what are you eating? You know, how are you going to eat? And now he said, you can't do any more stuff in the can. So I literally had to come home, go through my cabinets, and take all that stuff out. And I had to start going to the store and buying, even though I bought some fresh things, but now I really had to start buying some fresh stuff. So if it's not frozen fresh, then I had to get it really fresh. So I couldn't no longer eat stuff out the can. Now, just in case that I had to, he told me I would have to really rinse it. So if you... um. I don't know who eat Glory Greens, especially if you're from down south when you know how to cook them anyway. But Glory Greens, for instance, if you get that, you need to really rinse that out. It's like anything else, corn, all that. You need to rinse that stuff out. I know, right? So, um, I had to, if I did use something out the can, I had to rinse it. Really rinse it well to get that sodium off because they use um, sodium nitrate and all that kind of stuff to per help preserve your foods and your cans. So I had to change my whole, man, you talking about <laughs> changing stuff? Woo! Sister had to change some stuff. So I, I had to change some stuff. And then I was put on high blood pressure medicine. So um, he said, right sodium is used to preserve the canned items and flavor. Yeah, exactly. And so I had to really get... I had to step my game up. So now, not only I'm cleaning out my pantry, but now when I go into the store, I'm literally picking up canned stuff or whatever, and I'm reading it now because I'm checking to see how many different types of sodium or salt is in there. Now, let me tell you something. 
Yes, I am a oodles, a noodles girl. Been one since I was in college. That's like the easiest thing. And I remember back in the day, you go to the 7-Eleven get them big gulp cups. <laughs> you know you weren't supposed to have no crock pot, little pots in your room because they would confiscate them bad boys. <laughs> no pot, exactly. So I would warm up, I would heat my water up, and then I would crunch them up and put them in the cup and pour the water on top and put a top on and let it sit for like three minutes and then you add your little pack. Do you know... When you start looking at those packs, it's like 1,700 milligrams of sodium. That shit will kill you, okay? So, um, I had this, man, I'm tell you, I had to do a complete overhaul. <laughs> I had to do a complete overhaul. So, um, and even down to the way I cook. Not that I cook unhealthy, but I need to do some things. So, years ago, I changed it, I changed it a whole lot. Had to. So, folks, I'm telling you now, your health is important. If you want to stay, if you want to stay here, if you want to continue to live, if you want to be in your right mind, because certain foods that people eat, if you eat junk, you're going to look like junk. If you eat junk, you're going to feel like junk. OK, I, I'm, I'm just telling you, if you do a lot of sodas, you're going to feel like junk. I think what I do now, I do. um ginger ale and I buy like the little small cans when I get a taste for soda but I also do ginger ale now I think because I'm older sometimes your stomach just don't feel right so I, I use that ginger but I also buy the raw ginger so if you all been to like the grocery store I like the little the raw ginger the root I buy that and I will put it in a pot and boil it and once I boil it I will put it in a cup put some um honey in there and drink it that ginger let me tell you something that ginger helps remove um inflammation in your body because inflammation let me tell you something about this inflammation y'all when you get older that inflammation can hurt the hell out you <laughs> i'm telling you now <laughs> that inflammation can hurt your ass i'm dating that right now it make you feel bad your, your 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 joints don't feel good you don't you don't feel good as a person okay you you don't feel good so um that ginger it gives you energy it helps with inflammation um, and it gives you a clear mind, but it's, it's, it's healthy for you and you have to drink it. Um, try to drink some every day if you can. Get wise. I, I, my thing is teas. So I do a detox tea. I do teas that are um, for my blood pressure. I do um, teas that can give me like some Yerba Mate. Yerba Mate tea is really good. Um, that gives you energy, stuff like that. So I do teas that work for me. Green tea. Um, I try to stay away from caffeine tea. Um, there are teas that you can get that are non-caffeine. So that's what I need. And, and plus my doctor had told me years ago, no more caffeine for you. So um, I don't bother caffeine. But you know what I get? I hear people say, well, yeah, the doctor said I need to lose weight. And I need to do this here. But you're not doing it. You steady cooking food that's really not good for you. You're, you know, you're steady um, making stuff and you, you really ain't doing jack to do nothing. And you're trying to figure out why you hurting. Uh, yeah, exactly. Hard head. Yes. We got some hard headed people. Uh huh. You said that's your mom. <laughs> but, you know, the thing is, you have to get it in your mind that you that you that you need to do it. Um. And, and I'm going to tell you, it gets harder when you get older. And, and let me say this. I, you know, as a professional actor, it's the ultimate thing to get a role where you have to gain weight. You know, like if you have to gain weight. And, I, and I've and i done it several times. But this last time, which was last summer, I did a film uh, in which I had to gain about 30 pounds. And so... Um, the 30 pounds came quick. Wasn't a problem. <laughs> that came quick. But what happened was me trying to get it off. So I was like a little fat girl when I came to Atlanta um, last May. And um, I don't think we had just wrapped up. So I, I think I had started working out, but no results yet. 
So, um, since that time, I've been working out and I've gotten a whole lot of it off. And that's good. But I got more to go. And um, this time, we're not going to be doing rolls that cause me to, I have to gain weight. You know, I think I'm over that thrill now. Uh, we'll put on a fat suit if we need to. <laughs> but, um... You know, I'm, I'll be 52 my birthday, so we're not doing all that, okay? So this time when I when I talk with my trainer, <laughs> exactly, exactly, <laughs> exactly. But you know what? I've tried a fat suit. That fat suit ain't no joke. When you come out that bad boy, I'm not a sweater, but when I got in that fat suit, woo, and you come, you've been in for like an hour, it, it, it's, it's hot, it's heavy, and being that you, you sweat, it makes it even heavier. And if you're not in a place where it's not no draft going, if you're in a place where it's sort of drafty when you take that off and you don't draw off or in a warm place, then your, um, your, your joints ache. So it, it puts some pressure on your body. So um, I hopefully I won't be doing nothing that recall, requires me to do all that. So, but anyway, um, at this point, I'm still working the rest of this weight off me and yes it's kind of coming off but what happens is that we have setbacks so like we we're doing good real good and then all of a sudden we our our body system it plateaus when it plateaus that means it just stops it don't go anywhere it's just there okay that means you need to shock your body. So that means you might have to change up your exercise. That means you may have to maybe not do it at that time of day. Maybe switch it up and do something different that time of day. So you have to sort of shock your body. And I always tell people that in the mornings when you first get up, when you first wake up, drink you a glass of cold water. The people think cold water is not good for you. But what cold water does for your stomach is that it fills your stomach up. So drink you some cold water and then give yourself about 15, maybe 20 minutes and then work out. But get all your water in for the day. I'm telling you, get all your water in for the day. And let me tell you something, folks. You ain't got to go out here and buy these expensive um, gadgets. If you got a treadmill in your house, use it. Stop letting it take, set up dust. Use it. Use it. If you are a person like me, now, I'm going to say this. Here's my thing. Sure, don't you, don't, don't can't do stairs, okay? Here, here's my thing. Um, I don't like cold weather. And I know people say, okay, well, why do you live on the East Coast and you know it gets cold and you got a place in Florida? Okay, well, because I have to be here. So, that's, you know, I, I deal with it. But I don't like cold weather. But, so, it's very hard for me to get out here and walk in the cold. I really have to be, you know, bundled up. And so, the only time I, I'm really forced to go out there is, is you know, my training will work if it's, like, nice and sunny outside and it's in the middle of the day, so to speak. Yeah, that's a good time. I'll do it. But I have a bad knee. I have a knee injury. So, sometimes my knee gives me hell. Okay, I don't to be honest with you. Sometimes it just gives me pure hell. Um, that comes from being an athlete. And um, if you, as a child, uh, grew up being an athlete, when you get grown in your mind, and, and I don't know why, but at 51, I'm still thinking I, I'm invincible. Ain't nothing wrong with me. I can put a bandage on it and still walk up out of here. Don't know why. Lift milk and juice jugs. <laughs> exactly. Okay. You know, uh, you don't have to, if you don't have weights like these. Now, I have, this is a, uh, this is actually a five pound weight. Okay. This is a five pound weight. And um, I actually have five. I have tens. I have eights. I even have twos. Okay. But like he said, if you don't have any weights at all, you can pick up some cans. Matter of fact, a lot of us sisters, now I'm going to say this, there's some, and some white sisters too. We got plenty of ass. So when you want to do those those squats, we got plenty of booty back there that's going to give you some leverage. <laughs> and if you do enough of them, they're going to work them thighs. So <laughs> you don't have no excuse. But 
folks, what I'm saying is that you you have to really make the decision. It is a decision to change that lifestyle. You have to make the decision. You have to want to do it. Okay. Like I said, I, I don't like going outside when it's cold. I'm just not a cold weather person. But I will tell you this. You don't need to go and buy all those gadgets that they got on TV. Okay. Um... You don't need to go and buy all those videotapes and all that you ain't, DVDs. You ain't got to waste that kind of money. And you sure as hell don't have to go into a gym. Because sometimes when people go in a gym, they're very intimidated. You know, they want to come in and lose weight too. But when they stand beside somebody that's already in shape, it makes them feel um, bad. So... They'll wait until they get their little body together and then they want to roll up in the gym. Ain't nothing wrong with that. But here's my thing. You don't have to do. Don't put yourself through that because that's stress. That's adding stress. And stress, not only does it progress whatever health problem you have, stress also causes you to gain weight. Y'all didn't know that? I know somebody knew it. it causes you to gain weight. So don't carry yourself through that. You can get out here and walk. If you walk every day, even if you don't, even if all you can do is walk around your complex or walk around a small circle, start small. And then when you feel comfortable enough that you can go a little further, then take it inch by inch, step by step. Because if you walk, and you do it on a consistent basis, you're going to lose weight all over. And it's going to happen so fast, by the time you look up, you're going to be like, oh, I didn't even know I lost all that weight. It, it, it happens. I'm telling you all, folks, you will see a transformation happening to your body. Now, when you start seeing this transformation... You do need to do some type of toning because you don't want all your stuff sagging. Okay? I'm I'm just telling you that you don't want all the sagging. You can lose all that weight and then throw the clothes on and nobody, but when you take them clothes off, everything is dropping. You don't want that. That's not something you want. And and, and I hate to hear when people talk about older people, you know, they lose all this weight because they owe all this stuff is sagging. That's mm -mm, not. I'm Generation X. And there are people who are 20 years old and younger. They look older than me. And they stuff sag worse than me. Okay, so, that, so I know that's a lot. Everybody has a different body tone. Everybody's body is different. So you all going to have to do what you got to do. So you got to put your mind to it and get, get with the program. Stop making up excuses. You know you don't eat a salad every day. Okay, don't sit and say you eat salads every day knowing good and damn well you don't eat salads every day when you look like you eating Subway sandwiches every day. Because, uh, okay, we ain't going to go there. <laughs> but... I listen to people. I have friends that say, oh, well, the doctor said I need to lose weight. and But you ain't doing it. You only can lose weight or you only can change how your life, want, how, your life how you want your life to be when you get ready to do it. When you get ready to do it. So, I, I, I don't know what to tell people. But, today... If you listen to this broadcast and you've been thinking about, I might want to get on Nutrisystem. I might want to get on Jenny Craig. Now, give me. I don't knock Jenny Craig. I don't knock Nutrisystem. Um, I would take Nutrisystem over Jenny Craig any day because Nutrisystem actually really, really, really works. Um, and it does teach you how to eat, but you need to know what's good for you. Um. I got a Nutribullet, and people got Nutribullets. Everybody ain't into smoothies. Some people don't like where you got to blend up greens and all that spinach and stuff like that. But guess what? If you do it right, you'll love it. That's just me. Okay? That's just me. I have to do them. That I, I, because I feel they, they, they work for me. So I, I do them. But you have to find out a way to do things for yourself in order for you to be healthy. That's the bottom line. Now, here comes the big thing. Like I said, you ain't got to go get all this stuff. You know. Now, as for me, I've been had these weights. Let me tell you how long I've had these weights. 
my oldest child will be 30 in November of this year, okay? And um, I think I, I actually bought these weights. My and my oldest child was probably he was a, he was still a baby. He was an infant at the time, so that's when I bought these weights, and I've had them all this time. And um, in 2012, matter of fact, from 2009, I want to say until about 2012, I was on tour back and forth with a couple of major artists, and um, I was a hip hop dancer. So I um, got hooked on to the um, the um, total gym thing and tried it. A friend of mine had one and they was telling me about it and then I had seen Chuck Norris talk about you know if you uh, up late at night or you sleeping late at night or you have to turn TV they got all these info info commercials on okay well I seen Chuck Norris and I was like I like Chuck Norris and I was like okay then one of my friends had one and so I was like hmm maybe I'll try that so I would go to her house and go <laughs> get on hers <laughs> but I like because it works it's making you you pull your own weight okay whether you're whether you're doing these or these or you're doing these you are lifting your own weight so I decided mm -hmm. to invest in a total gym so I invested in it and so from 2009 to, to 2012 it traveled that bad boy probably got more stickers on it than my suitcase did. So it traveled all over the world with me. Um, and I had it in my, in my room, you know, in, in my suite. And it worked. It kept me together. It, it stretched my legs out because I have a piece that has a Pilates piece to it. So it, it works. So you have to do things that work for you. So I, I, here's my thing. I'm going to challenge you all. I'm going to start doing the plank, the plank challenge. I used to do it. And it wasn't a challenge. It was part of the workout routine that I was doing. But I haven't did it in a long time. And my trainer is doing new things with me. Because now I have decided that I'm not going to be doing. Um, I'm going to continue to be an actor. But I'm not going to be getting those roles where I have to physically gain weight and change my physical outlook. So, um when we drop this weight this time, that's it. That's it. Um, and we and we just gonna maintain it for as long as God would allow me to to do it. And so um, I just decided that that's how that's going to be. So between my total gym and the exercise that He gives me and the things that I do when He's not around, um, those are the things that are helping me out. But you have one you got to be true to yourself one you got to start drinking your water one you have to know what works for you you do need to go to the doctor if you have high blood pressure you need to know what's going on with you if you have a thyroid issue ladies go to the doctor cuz if this thyroid let me tell you something if your thyroid is off everything else gonna be off you're going to be gaining weight, all kinds of stuff. You ain't got no business trying to gain weight. It's going to be bad. Your body alerts you to stuff that's going on with you. So please, please um, be mindful of what's going on with you. And the same with men. Your body alerts you to what's going on with you in your body. And... Men have a habit of, I'm okay, I'm good, don't want to go to the doctor. A lot of women, we don't want to go to the doctor either, but we got to go. We're quicker to go than a man. But men, you need to go too. Your health is important. Men get issues. They get they get cancer. They get um, all different types of um, men issues that need to be taken care of and need to be handled. Same with women. So, folks, when your body is saying, hey, hey. Is something wrong and you take a Motrin or something mm -hmm. and it go away for a few and come back, it's something wrong. Or, better yet, here's a good way to find out that you might have a kidney infection or your kidneys might be messing up on you. If you're used to your toenails being clear, like pink, you know, like they're supposed to be here, and they, they're starting to turn dark, that means something's wrong with your kidney or either your liver. You need to get up and go 
to your doctor and have it checked because you could be having an infection you could have it could be something wrong going on go get it checked out I don't care if you're a man or a woman go get it checked out that's what you need to go do now here's the other part now that you're working on the health part of your body and all that, now you need to work on your mind. Now you need to work on your, your self-esteem, your motivation, why you here. Those are things that you need to start working on. Because I'm going to tell you something now. People got a lot of excuses for um, what's going on in their life. How come they're not doing this and, and, and their reasons for doing crazy stuff. I, I'm going to give you my fact. Let's see. I think it's about top 10 of them. Top 10. Top 10 excuses or top 10 reasons to give up is this. One, excuses is at the top of the list. You self-doubting yourself. Uh, fear that you're going to fail. Procrastination. Okay. You got a lot of people procrastinating. They sit all day long. I, you know what? I'm gonna do this. I'm, but don't do it. Stop procrastinating. That's what. That's a good way to really give up because you procrastinating so bad you just talk yourself out of whatever you're trying to do. Um, people pleasing. Who the hell are you pleasing? Are you happy? Because if you ain't happy with yourself, how you gonna make somebody else happy? So stop the people pleasing. Um, fear of success. There are a lot of people who got some great ideas, doing some great things, and on the brink of big success, but they fear it. And then when they start fearing it, they let these other people who I call haters come in and stop them from reaching that golden ring to become successful when it's right there for them to grab. Mm -mm, that ain't how you're supposed to do Thinking negative. Stop thinking negative. It ain't even worth doing all that. Stop thinking negative. The next one, stop. Um, stop the negative self self talking. Oh, I can't do that. Oh, um, if I do that, that's not gonna make me look stop it. Who said you couldn't do it? You told yourself that. Guess what? Stop telling yourself that and start telling yourself that you can do it. Stop, start telling yourself you can do some stuff. Um, judgment of others. Why you're so busy judging others, you need to be worried about what is going on with you. Being real, you need to find out what's going on with you. That's it. Stop worrying about what's, what Tom, Dick, and Sue is doing. Worry about you. Do you. Find out what's going on with you. If there's some things that you need to correct about you, correct them. Be honest about yourself. Be true to yourself. If you ain't true to yourself and you're not honest with yourself and can't trust yourself, then who, really? Do you actually think somebody else is going to trust you? Or that you okay. can trust somebody else? That you can be around somebody else? No. Won't happen. And the last one. Negative people in your circle. If you got some negative folks in your circle, they might be family members. They might be friends. They could be um, people you work with. I don't mean no harm. Get away from them. Get away from them. Because they're going to do you more harm than good. So, those are like, Man, I could name so many, but those are just the 10 excuses, self, self doubt, um, fear of failure, procrastination, people pleasing, uh, fear of success, negative thinking, negative self talk, judgment of others, negative people in your circle. That's just 10 that I told you about. There are more of them out there, but what you need to do is get out that group of the things to give up. Get in the group of the of the group that says, this is why I should never give up. I should never give up because my dream is there. I should never give up because I can get my dream and become successful. I should never give up that I can get my dream, become successful, and be happy. 
because I took time to pursue my happiness and live my life. That's what you need to be doing. I don't know what to tell you folks, but y'all better get it together. I mean, I'm trying to get some motivation, but y'all better get together. But let me say this to you. Think about it this way. If you saw the size of the blessing um, that was coming to you, you would understand the magnitude. Listen to me. You would understand the magnitude of the battle that God has already fought for you. So I'm going to say this again. If you saw the size of the blessing that was coming to you, you would understand the magnitude of the battle that God has already fought for you. It's just that simple. See, once you see that, then you can sit back and do what you need to do. God didn't put us here um, to not prosper. Believe it or not, he put us here to be lifted, to live on this earth and be great. To express our greatness, to share our greatness with everybody. So, what you doing? Are you in the land of doubt? Are you on that list of 10 things to give up on? Get out that group. Get your mind, body, soul, and your health together. Get your attitude healthy. Get your mind healthy. So you can be a healthy human being. All a whole healthy human being. Drink this water. Live life to the fullest. Have fun. Laugh. Um... Spread your wisdom that you have to help others. Because sometimes things that you tell people can help somebody else. You don't know by you telling your story that what you're saying, somebody else may hear it. And you may bless them. Okay? So get your mind right. Get your body right. Work out. Ain't gonna kill you. Work out. You ain't gotta go out here and be um, superwoman. Because Lord knows I'm not. Now, back in the day, yes, I was. <laughs> Just let me stop. Uh, <laughs> back in the day, I was. I, I, I will say that I was. I could run my butt off. Now, I ain't running unless it's Jason after my ass. Other than that, yeah, okay, we going to fight. But um, get your mind right. Love life. Enjoy life. Go for your dream. Go for the pursuit of your happiness. That's what you need to do. That's what you need to do. All right, folks. I'm going to get up out of here, but I want to come and just hang out with you. Y'all going to hear me coming at y'all probably every day talking about drinking this water. No, don't worry about it. Spring Deer Park. Deer Park been gone a long time at this bottle. Okay. Deer Park was gone the day that I purchased the bottle. Okay. I sucked it up. This is uh, Cassie's water out of Cassie's house. <laughs> um, and I feel I keep these bottles filled up and it helps me keep on um, my journey with my with my water. OK, so that's what it does. And um, you need to drink your water. That's a must. You need to drink your water and you need to stay healthy and you need to get healthy, um, you know, healthy thoughts. And, and and be in healthy situations, be in healthy relationships. If you're not in good relationships, then and you know it ain't gonna work, leave it alone. Don't you stay with somebody because you was with that that person and they were paying all the bills and you don't have nowhere else to go. Look at here. It might be hard. No matter of fact, I ain't gonna say it might be. Yes, it will be hard. But guess what? In the long run, you're gonna be better off. So why are you staying with somebody who treats you like a dog, who don't care nothing about you, and um, why is my nose running? Who don't care anything about you, and they just want to belittle you, bring you down. They're not there for you. That's not a healthy relationship. That's an unhealthy relationship. So folks, get out of it. 
Go do something different. Do something better with your life. Um, the day is a be it's sunny outside where I'm at. It's a beautiful day and life is beautiful. And you need to spend time with your family, hang out with your friends, and be happy. And drink this water. I'm telling you, drink. And I don't mean do this. And then put it away and say, well, I drank my water for the day. Because that's not enough water. Now, when I click off of here from you all, I'm going to chug this water on down. Um, because I need to do it. And I'm thirsty, <laughs> so to speak. So, you all have a beautiful Friday because the weekend is coming. Like here, it's cold as hell, but the sun is out. Okay, the sun is out. And I, I just worked out with my trainer right before I came on with you all. So, um, I'm going to enjoy my Friday. If you need to lay down and rest, folks, lay down and rest. It ain't going to kill you. If you need to just chill out, just get in the bathtub and go cow going on with whatever you need. Do it. Do it. Enjoy your life. Take care of you. Pamper you. When you can take care of you, pamper you, love you, and care for you, you can spread that same love back to other people. Okay? You can spread that same love back to other people. Okay, folks. I'm getting up out of here. Tomorrow, I will be on Scopers Unite Train. That's where we got five minutes to tell our story about ourselves. So each week that I do this, I learn new stuff about the people that I'm on the scope train with. And they learn something about me. And it's some serious story. People got some serious stories about what has happened in their life and stuff. And no, we can't tell it all in five minutes. But trust me, some of the stuff you hear, man, will blow your mind. You know, and they're really good people. So it will blow your mind. But um, I'm looking forward to doing it. I didn't get a chance to do it last weekend because I was in the ATL. Well, I could have did it in the ATL, but when I went to go schedule, um, the train was the train filled up so quick, I didn't get a chance to get, to get scheduled. <laughs> but this week, I'm on the train. So tomorrow, I will be on that train. So if you all see me put up here and it says Scopers Unite, that means... I'm getting ready to come on, okay? So, with that being said, you all have an awesome weekend. Um, have fun. Smile. Laugh. Have some fun. Get that water in, folks. Get your walk in if you want to. Now, I don't know what, where y'all at, but it's nice. So, right now, you could go for a walk if you want to. But get the walk in. If you don't do nothing else but lay on the floor and stretch. Stretching is good, too. Get your nice hot bath. <sighs> Get your weights out. <laughs> Get your weights out. <laughs> Get your weights out. All right, folks. Love you all. Thank you all for tuning in to my little broadcast. Um, and for all the replays, hope you enjoy this. Please tap the screen for some hearts if you like it. And for the replays, please share the broadcast as well. This is your girl, Miss Cassie. And I will talk to you all later. Peace out, folks. Hey. Get that water in. <laughs> Get that water in, folks. Love y'all.